right? Now, this is something actually that's paired with a video lesson that I posted on my YouTube channel. So if you're not yet subscribed to that, go and find me. It's Team Laika sa YouTube. And um, this is about coins. So money problems, I talked about yung part one, which is some basic na terms when it comes to coins. So we talked about pennies, nickels, dimes, and yung difference ng bawat isa. And also how you can use a table to help you solve this type of problem. Now this in particular actually, I was a bit surprised because most people still got it wrong. Like, wala pang one third ng mga tao ang tumama dito. So I figured I should make a video like this. And um, ang sabi dito this a question, Lulu has thrice as many dimes as nickels and the same number of pennies and di as dimes and nickels combined. She has 10 nickels. So, the question sa sounds simple. It actually is. Ang problema is that people, when they see na ay ang haba ng tanong or na word problem to, hindi ko to kaya. When in fact, you can do it. You just need to break things down step by step, line per line. Alright? Now, I taught you doon sa lesson how to work on your table. And if you haven't seen the lesson yet, you can maybe pause this, go back to this na lang. The link should be on this post right here and also in the comment section. Okay? So, you will have a table. Okay? You can draw a table. Um, three columns lang. Okay? So, here, so sa pinaka-left, yun yung denomination mo. And then here, you will have yung pieces ng coins and dito sa yung kanyang value. Alright? So, dito sa pinaka-left, you just need to put yung mga kinds of coins that you have. So, may na-mention na siya na dimes, nickels, and pennies. And uh, if makarating ka sa dulo ng, ng sentence, ang nakalagay actually is that she has 10 nickels. So, pinaka-bonus mo na yun. Yun na yung nickels mo, okay, which is ang value niya ay 5 cents. Okay, sabi ko, kasi instead of just putting 0 0.05 kung ayaw nyo ng decimals, pwedeng 5 na lang. Mamaya nyo na idagdag yung decimal point para lang hindi masyadong nakaka-nervyos. Kasi iba nagpapalpitate, nakakita pa lang ng decimal, no? So, 5 centavos, yun yung nickels. And then, Sabi, ang pieces daw niya ay 10. So, automatic, you have 5 times 10 or 50 centavos or 50 cents. Next, you have another type of coin. Sabi dito, Lulu has thrice as many dimes as nickels. So, yung dimes niya, which ang value is 10 cents, siya ay thrice as many as yung nickels. So, thrice is 3 times. So, kung 10 yung nickels mo, pag ginawa ko siya, times 3 ko siya, okay, dahil sinabi thrice, Ang lalabas na piraso ng dimes mo should be 30 pieces. And yung 30 pieces na dimes or 10 cents, yan ay 300 centavos or basically $3 na agad. So just by combining yung nickels and dimes, meron ka na agad $3.50. And if you're taking a test like this, you can automatically eliminate yung mas mababa sa $3.50. Kasi hindi na pwedeng $2.80, mababa siya masyado. Hindi na rin pwedeng $1.20. Dalawa na lang. And again, if naghahabol na ka ng oras, hinihila na ng proctor yung papel mo kasi pinapasubmit niya na, at least 50-50 na yung chance mo of getting the right answer. Okay, now if you have a few more seconds left, you can go ahead and answer yung next part, yung ating pennies. So yung pennies, ang sabi dito is that, diba, una sa lahat, 1 centavo siya, no? pero nakalagay dito, ang kanyang dami daw, same number. So when we talk about number, hindi siya value, okay? Siya ay piraso. And I think dito naguluhan yung iba. So ang ginawa nila is basically, dinoble nila yung mga, uh, mga, yung mga coins na meron na. So, dahil mas malaki yun, kasi if you think about it, $3.50 times 2, that is $7. So, kinuha nila yung $4 kasi dapat mataas yung sagot. Pero ang hinahanap kasi is the number. So, yung number or piraso ng pennies niya ay pareho as, same number as, dimes and nickels combined. So, ang dimes and nickels combined mo is basically going to be 10 plus 30, which is going to give you 40 pieces. So, 40 pieces na 1 centavo, that is 40 cents. So, ang total mo is going to be $3.90. So, the answer here should be letter A. Okay? So, uh, again, ang importante dito is yung breakdown pa isa-isa lang. And the more you practice, the faster you get. So, I really hope you participate in the next one. So, hopefully, the next na coin problem that I'm going to post, mas marami na yung tama kaysa sa mali. Kasi that's how I gauge if I'm going to make a video lesson or uh, another um, explainer for you guys.
this particular question is all about discounts and markup and um I know this type of question usually confuses people and hindi ako nagulat noon lumabas yung results. Uh, ilang beses ko na sinagot to sa, sa YouTube, ilang beses na rin ako nag-born sa inyo. I even have a dedicated video on this question which I posted uh, dun sa March exam pero marami pa rin nagkamali. So if you don't know that lesson yet, nakalink din siya dito sa description ng video na ito. This is a question na marami ang careless, marami ang nagkakamali. Akala nila speed technique yung ginagawa nila. Akala nila inuutakan nila yung tanong pero mali pala. So you really have to be careful and I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, sabi dito, Judy bought a shirt using a 25% discount coupon. She paid 975 pesos for it. How much did it cost originally? Now, most of you actually answered letter A. Now, this is actually wrong. This is very, very wrong. And if you want to fight me sa comments, you're free to do so. I will just keep proving to you that this is wrong. Now, bakit mali ito? A lot of people, ang ginagawa nila is basically 975. Tapos, ikunin nila yung 25% nito. And then, kung ano man yun, idadagdag lang nila doon sa 975, which is the yung discounted price. Okay? Now, kung gagawin nyo ito, you will get to 1,218.75. And the reason why I put it there is kasi alam kong marami ang madidisgrasya sa inyo. Now, bakit? Kasi akala nyo shortcut. Kasi for other questions, ganito yung ginagawa ninyo. So, kung kunyari, binigay ang original price, hinahanap yung discounted price, ito yung ginagawa nyo yung technique. Now, totoo yun. Kung ang, hina- kung ang binigay sa inyo is the original price at ang hinahanap ay yung discounted price or markup price, pwede. Pero if you notice doon sa question, anong sabi? Judy bought a shirt using a 25% discount coupon. Ang binayaran niya ay 975. This is not the original price. This is actually the discounted. Okay? Discounted price na to. Ang hinahanap natin is the original price. So, in this case, hindi yan pwede. If you are going to use a formula, old school method, ang magiging equation ninyo dyan would be x, okay, minus, and then x times 0.25, which is 25% discount, is equal to 975. Ito yung magiging formula nyan. Okay? And again, you're free to use this if you want to solve it. Pero I have a technique called ratio rotation which I teach my students. And my video din yan, my full video din yan on YouTube. You can just look for it, ratio rotation. All you have to do is OP over NP or NP over OP, original price, new price. You have your percentage side and your peso side. If you get confused by this, find the full lesson on YouTube para maintindihan nyo yung sinasabi ko. Pero basically, yung percentage side, ang original price is always 100%. And then yung new price mo is whatever is it after a discount or a markup. Eh, ito, 25% discount. So, kung 100% siya noon, nagbawas ka ng 25%, 100% minus 25% is 75%. Okay? Ito na lang yung new price mo, 75% na lang ng original price. Now, hindi natin alam kung ano yung original price, siya yung magiging X, and then yung new price mo is 975. Now, ito ngayon ang isosolve natin. Now, para hindi masyado malaki yung numbers, in lowest terms ko lang ito, Pwede ko ito i-lowest terms. Ito ay magiging 4 over 3. Bakit? Dinivide ko lang siya sa 25. Pareho. Okay? Yan ang kanyang greatest common factor. And then, I'm just going to do this. Iikot ko lang siya. 975 divided by 3 will give me 3, 2, 5. And then, multiply that by 4. So, that will give me 650. Kasi ito... 325 times 2 is 650. Dalawang 650, which is 1,300. The answer is 1,300. Hindi 1,218.75. Okay? So, anong gusto kong matutunan ninyo dito? Honestly, kung ayaw nyo ng formula, learn this method. This will save you a lot of time and a lot of grief sa exam. This will also help you be more confident. And... I also want you to understand 
iba ang technique kapag ang binigay ay discounted price at ang hinahanap ay original price. Iba kapag original price ang binigay at ang hinahanap ay discounted price. Learn to know the difference. Understand the question. Huwag masyadong gigil din na sumagot agad. And uh, that way, maiingatan ninyo yung mga ganito. Kasi yung iba, confident sa exam. Ay, ang dali-dali po ng exam ngayon, coach. Bakit mababa ang score? Kasi minsan nabawagrit yung mga details like this. So, make sure that you, an- you really pay attention and make sure that you really understand the question before or even attempt to answer it. Alright, so again, if I will be posting more questions like this. Hopefully, hanggang marami, mas marami na sa inyo ang tumama kaysa sa magkamali. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Like Amarivelli on Instagram for more questions. And, um, if you want me to keep making explainer videos here on Facebook, don't forget to share this with your friends, like this video para malaman ko kung gagawa pa ako. Kasi it really is extra work for me. Pero kung marami sa inyo na tutulungan nito, I'll keep making more. Alright? As we always say dito sa Team Never Stop Learning, adya-adya kayo niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.